Before Peyton Gendron allegedly massacred 10 people in a Buffalo supermarket on Saturday, he apparently wrote a detailed description about killing a cat and posting the photos of the animal online. In Gendron's twisted personal diary, which is nearly 600 pages long, he details the event of murdering a feral cat. The stray cat was apparently attacking Gendron's cat, Paige, which prompted him to continuously stab the stray with an army knife. Afterwards, he called his mother and she gave him a box to place the animal in. Gendron dug a shallow grave to bury the cat and wrote, quote, I don't feel anything about killing the cat. I thought I would be in pain, but I literally just feel blank. The senior director of Teach Kind from PETA, Marta Holmberg, released a statement yesterday saying, the FBI warns that harming animals is a sign of more carnage to come. Amid an epidemic of youth violence, PETA is rushing its empathy building curriculum to schools in Gendron School District. Broome County District Attorney Mike Korchak held a press conference yesterday detailing the red flag law. Well, he did fall through the cracks, you know, as far as the system goes. Uh, however, when you look at the defendant individually, you had a 17-year-old high school student who had never been treated for mental illness before. Obviously, he was suffering from some sort of delusion or mental illness. When you look at the writings, you can, you can tell. Uh, however, if, if a person does not have a history of mental illness, how do you prepare for that? Gendron appeared in court today, and the hearing was roughly four minutes long. He was indicted on first-degree murder and is to be kept in jail without bail until he returns to court on June 9th.